previously. Lizard or whatever you call yourself. Oh, Mariam, do you love me at all? Am I your child? See the way she's talking to me. Want the best one here? See one here. A great person like me and my son Phil. Your dad and I, we couldn't get Grace Academy for you, so we are fixing you at TYA. Damn! Just look at this thing. We are from Scholarship for Youth Education. It's an NGO that gives scholarships to people who are financially unstable and very brilliant who would want to continue their education. Is it free? You won't pay a penny. You won't come on your mom. You shouldn't do that. Do you know how I suffered to get all this property? Do you know how I suffered to build all this house? something I want to say sorry that you didn't get the school that you wanted to attend okay yes you didn't get the school but that's not an issue TYA is one of the best talented school in town and furthermore I know the principal very well he will take real good care of you and it's just going to be for a year that should be a problem please I one want to thing, sleep sweetheart. one more thing one more thing and because your school is just nearby, we're going to spend most of our time here. Is that all right with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweetheart. Things going to work out just fine, okay? Don't worry. Welcome back. Thank you, Lizzie. Mom, Lizzie. Okay, Jerry. Okay, baby. I'll be waiting. Lizzie, what is it? Mom, please. The rate at which Mariam is speaking to me has crossed its boundary. Say again. The rate at which Mariam. Queen! Miriam! If I hear you say Mariam. You wouldn't like me. I'll continue. Mom, please, the rate of it, Queen. Miriam is disrespecting me across these boundaries. To what country? Boundaries to what country? I am sure if you had done a good thing, my Queen would have respected you. I'm sorry, Mom. Shut it! So, were you expecting me to throw my daughter out of this house? No, please. Better. Um. Yeah, prepare daddy's favorites. Okay, ma. We use the ginger. She know he doesn't like it, more. Yes, please. Better. Now leave here before my husband shouts. Okay, ma. Hey, hey, baby. Let's come up here. Sun's about to go down. So after I left the village, mm -hmm. what were you doing? Hmm, as you already know, same old stuffs. Washing for people and then reading. Hey! Hmm. As for me, ever since I left the village to Accra, I've worked at so many places, different jobs. And you know, as for work there, we have good side and bad side. And even those I came to meet in Accra, I don't know their whereabouts. Hmm, you let's forget about all those stuff. So, do you hear from your family? Family? Okay. Today, you don't have family. What is family? I beg, I don't have. Oh, talk about yeah. that. This is Ozelia. If they wanted to keep me, they wouldn't have sold me out. Don't say that. I used to say that too. But Zelia, this thing, you have to know that blood is blood. And suffering is suffering. I beg, let's go and eat so that I can go and pray. Oh. 
by these people. Lights. Yeah, you guys used to be here yesterday. Where did you go? I'm talking to you and I need an answer now. Where did you go? People didn't need an answer. Like for real? How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? Come on, 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 come
Yes, <laughs> Yes, Oh, Carolina. 
Mommy, something. So how are your parents doing? <laughs> My mom was admitted at the hospital and came back yesterday because my father... My father... Your father attacked her again. Yes. I told you to force your mom so that you guys will leave that house. And where will we go to? Do you want something to happen to your mom before you do something about it? Have you told the police about it? No, listen. My mom doesn't want anyone to know of this. Whenever I talked about it, she wants me not to discuss it to anyone. Not even the police. But you're my best friend. That is why you know of this. It's okay. Come here. <laughs> It's 11 p.m., madam. It's 11 p.m. And oh. I cannot sleep. So I just decided to do some small exercise. Oh, that Kalipo girl will be this week. I told you not to quiet Kalipo. And who is that Kalipo girl? You guys can be funny sometimes. Yeah. And Liz, what are you doing here this time? 
Say, I couldn't sleep, so I just decided to do some chores left. No, okay. Make it fast so I can go have some rest. Okay. And Cap, what are you doing here? Yes, sir. Uh, I was checking, you know, I command the house. I was checking if everything is fine. And I found it here. No, okay. Let me know if you need something. Okay, okay sir. sir. Okay, sir. Kapu, I In told you to stop calling me a Kalipo girl. If you increase your salary, you, you don't they want to They have to go to your security salary. post, please. I don't want trouble. Let's go. He said we should go. I'll come later. Go to your security post. Go and do your job. Go. Hmm, this Kapu boy. Let's just lose our jobs. This Kalipo Kalipo girl that has been calling boys. But she deserves it. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And life is you. I'm These are crying. Hmm. Everything you see here is a setting room. Really? Mm. Ah. They're asking me how. Did you see that guy? Which guy? The guy that just went there. Hmm. How is he? Just see. No. Yes. Hmm. Let me tell you hmm. what they do here. If you come to a crime, you are not smart. People will be using you like something else. Because right now that he's going there, you just be having sex with her and be giving her money. The way you are talking, I'm telling you, you should be very careful with these boys. He is very dangerous, so okay. you should be very careful. That's don't follow. Don't follow her. That's one reason why I don't like her. My impression doesn't mean you do some. I don't do some. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's clap for it. Okay, that, that was a nice presentation. I liked your presentation from the beginning. Yeah. But next time when you are writing something like this, an article or a passage like this, make sure the person included in the story, you have a tete a tete with the person. You understand? That will help you to get more and vital information about what you are writing. I hope you get it. That will make your script very rich. Okay, so thank you. You did well. Thank you, too. The next person is... um. Dora answer. Dora answer. Let's. Let's. So, I'll be talking on the topic violence. When we talk about violence, it is a behavior involving physical force. It is a behavior. Involving physical force intended to
Hey, workaholic. Yes. What is your problem? Oh, no, it's not your only you are working. That's hey. my job. It's your job, but I'm sitting down. <laughs> then go to your security post. Nobody is here only you are working. I am. Oh, it's not here only you are working. <laughs> ah. So now the, her name is Umu. What? Nobody is here. What Nobody is here. Come? Oh. Eh? You be fear you too much. Um, lizard. Yes, ma make sure you prepare food with my favorite soup for dinner tonight. Oh, but mom, please, your daddy said he wants rice balls. So I should prepare him rice balls, please. Ah, easy. Yeah. Kapu. Kapu. And what is the R for? Young man, what is the meaning of the R? <laughs> I thought you were a man. But be very careful. Because one day I will slap eh? you out of your You will slap me. You, you will slap me. Young girl, be very careful. Otherwise, what will happen to you? You will never like it. And is that a threat? No, are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Capo! Like they always do. 